Imagine making money while lounging in your PJs or sipping a pina colada on the beach. Sounds like a dream, right? Well, buckle up because today we're gonna be diving into seven mind-blowing work from home jobs that'll make your nine to five friends oh, green with man. envy. And stick around because number six might just change your life. What's up, freedom seekers? It's Shane here and welcome to another episode of Let's Escape the Rat Race. If you're new here, smash that subscribe button. And if you're not new here, smash the like button because we're all about finding unconventional ways to make money and live life on your own terms. Now let's get real for a second. The job market is evolving faster than my grandma's Facebook skills. Remote work isn't just a trend, it's the future. And today we're gonna be exploring seven unique work from home gigs that'll blow your mind. Now I've been where you are. Just a few years ago, I was trapped in a cubicle daydreaming about a better life. And now I'm living that dream and I wanna help you do the same. So grab your favorite beverage, get comfy, and let's dive into these game-changing opportunities. First up, we've got a job that'll make your inner social butterfly do a happy dance. And that is a virtual friend. Yeah, you heard that right. Companies are paying people five to $25 an hour just to chat and be friendly online. And it's kind of like getting paid to scroll through social media, except you're actually making someone's day better. Now I know what you're thinking, Shane, this sounds too good to be true, but hear me out. In our increasingly digital world, loneliness is a real problem. Virtual friends provide companionship, lend an ear, and offer judgment-free zones for people to express themselves. So to excel at this gig, you need to be an empathetic listener, a pro at casual conversations. You also need to be patient and kind and you need the ability to maintain healthy boundaries. And if you don't believe me that people are making money doing this, well, this person has been making money as a virtual friend for the last six years already. Now, there isn't a lot of information online about these, but according to Think Remote, a virtual friend earns between five and $25 per hour. And these rates are based on platforms like FriendPC or rentafriend.com. And the best part, you can do this job from anywhere with a decent internet connection. Beach in Bali, check. Cozy cabin in the woods, you bet. But remember, being a virtual friend is isn't all sunshine and rainbows. You need to be prepared for dealing with different time zones, handling potentially emotional conversations, and maintaining a positive attitude even on off days. Next up, we've got a job for all you armchair lawyers out there, and that's going to be a virtual juror. Yes, if you're one of those people who was religiously following the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial, this might be a really good one for you. Picture this, you're lounging on your couch, binge watching Law & Order, when suddenly, bam, you realize you could be getting paid for this. And virtual jurors earn any anywhere from five to $60 per case, participating in mock trials and providing feedback to legal teams. And it's kind of like being on a real jury minus the uncomfortable chairs and long days at the courthouse. Now, to be a rock star virtual juror, you need strong analytical skills, the ability to remain impartial, a genuine interest in legal proceedings, and good written communication skills. And this is in fact a real thing. For instance, this person was nervous at first doing virtual jury duty, but once it was happening, everything was smooth sailing and they were even able to do their taxes while attending the jury. Now, there isn't information about this on Glassdoor, but according to this Reddit post, virtual jurors earn around $150 to $300 for six to eight hours of attendance. And here's another one from an article on Medium. A virtual juror earns anywhere from $200 to $700 per attendance, which usually takes two to 10 hours. But here's the thing. Being a virtual juror isn't just about money. It's also about learning about the legal system, developing critical thinking skills, and contributing to the justice process, even if it's just practice. So if you ever dreamed of being Judge Judy or Judge Joe Brown, yeah, was that Judge Judy? This might be your chance to dip your toes in the legal waters. Now, by the way, have you ever served on a real jury or have you ever tried any of these jobs that we're mentioning in the video? If so, comment down below and we can all learn something. All right, eco warriors and business mavens, this one's for you. Let's dive into the world of sustainability consulting. As a sustainability consultant, you can earn anywhere between $65,000 and $135,000 a year. And you do this by helping businesses reduce their environmental impact while improving their bottom line. And it's kind of like being a green superhero in a suit. Now to excel in this role, you'll need in-depth knowledge of environmental regulations and sustainability practices, strong analytical and problem solving skills, an understanding of business operations and supply chains, and excellent communication skills to convey complex ideas to a diverse audience. Now an example of this is Tiana who spends her day working as a sustainability analyst. She manages projects for corporations and governments, including building greenhouse gas inventories, creating web dashboards, updating training materials, attending meetings, meetings and reviewing sustainability reports while also fitting in a lunchtime workout. Now, according to Glassdoor, sustainability consultants make about 58 to $100,000 a year. But here's the green truth. This job isn't just about loving the planet. You'll also need to stay updated on rapidly evolving environmental technologies and practices. And you'll also need to stay up to date on the laws too. So you basically need to be really good at balancing environmental ideals with business realities, which is definitely easier said than done. You also need to be able to quantify and communicate 
the ROI of sustainable initiatives, and you need to be able to navigate corporate politics and the resistance to change. So if you've got a passion for the environment, a head for business, and you're always thinking about how to make processes more efficient and eco-friendly, this could be your chance to make a real impact on the world. Speaking of unique job opportunities, let's talk about standing out in your job search. Sure, all these jobs are great, but at some point you're going to have to actually apply to them. And in order to do that and actually get an interview, you're gonna need a good resume. But that's really hard. And so what I did is I put together some high impact resume templates specifically for remote professionals. And these are completely free. I wanna help as many people as possible land these jobs. So if you are able to land a job using my resume templates, definitely comment in the video because I wanna know about it. But yeah, the free resume templates will be in the description and the pinned comment below. All right, people, persons, and communication gurus, this one's for you. Let's dive into the world of corporate soft skills training. And as a corporate soft skills trainer, you can make around 60 to $120,000 a year helping professionals polish their interpersonal abilities and their leadership skills and emotional intelligence. And it's kind of like being a life coach, but for the corporate world. And to excel in this role, you'll need excellent communication and presentation skills. But you'll also need a deep understanding of workplace dynamics and organizational behavior, plus the ability to create engaging interactive training materials and patience and adaptability to work with diverse groups and personalities. Now, an example here is Varsha, who reflects on her journey from being an introvert to becoming a soft skills trainer, sharing insights on overcoming the fear of speaking, gaining confidence, and the importance of self-awareness in personal growth. Now, soft skill trainers earn about sixty-four dollars to $109,000 a year, according to Glassdoor. And in the age of AI, soft skills are becoming more and more important because that is one of the few things that AI absolutely cannot do. But here's the real talk. This job isn't just about being a people person. You also need to stay up to date on the latest research in psychology and organizational behavior, measure and demonstrate the ROI of your training programs, adapt your teaching style to different corporate cultures and industries, and handle resistance or skepticism from participants who might not see the value initially. So if you've got a knack for bringing out the best in people and a passion for continuous learning, and you're always the one smoothing over conflicts in your friend group, this could be your chance to shape the future of workplace culture. All right, next I'm going to be calling out all visual storytellers and layout lovers. Let's dive into the world of book design. And as a book designer, you can earn forty-five to $85,000 a year, and you'll be crafting the visual journey for readers from cover to cover. So it's kind of like being an architect, but instead of buildings, you're constructing literary experiences. And to excel in this role, you'll need proficiency in design software like Adobe InDesign and Photoshop, a strong understanding of typography and layout principles, the ability to interpret and visually represent an author's vision, and knowledge of printing processes and digital publishing formats. So as an example here, in a day, Keelan designs book covers, manages revisions, streams live on YouTube, drafts newsletters, and updates project trackers. And according to Glassdoor, at the entry level, book designers make about fifty to $82,000 per year. But here's the fine print. This job isn't just about making pretty covers. You'll also need to be able to juggle multiple projects with tight deadlines, collaborate closely with authors, editors, and publishers, stay updated on design trends and publishing industry changes, and you're going to need to have good problem solving skills for challenging formats or unusual book concepts. So if you've got an eye for aesthetics, a love for literature, and you're always rearranging elements until they're just right, this could be your chance to leave your mark on the literary world. And by the way, do you know someone who's always talking about how much they hate their job? Well, share this video and show them how to turn that passion into a promising career. Next is going to be somewhat closely related, but it's more in the digital world, and that is going to be for digital storytellers and online influencers. And of course, we're going to be diving into the world of content creation. Now, as a content creator, you can earn anywhere from $30,000 to $200,000 per year in a job. And you can make more than that if you build your own brand. And you can be crafting engaging content across various platforms like YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and blogs. And it's kind of like being a one-person media company. So to thrive in this role, you'll need creativity and the ability to generate fresh ideas consistently. You'll need skills in video production, writing, or graphic design, or probably all three of them, especially if you want to make extra money. You'll also need to understand the different social media platforms and their algorithms, and you'll need the adaptability to keep up with rapidly changing online trends. Now, this one's interesting. It's a comparison between two content creators going about their day, and Lawrence starts his day with a shower and a breakfast, then creates and uploads TikToks while managing a messy workspace. Then he watches a fight and ends the day with gaming and relaxation. Another content creator balances their day between creating and editing TikToks, cleaning their workspace, making smoothies, watching a fight, and then wrapping up with gaming and a night routine. And according to Glassdoor, content creators earn about thirty-eight dollars to $65,000 per year at the entry level. But here's the reality check. This job isn't just about being creative. You'll also need to manage your personal brand like a business, especially if you start a business, deal with irregular income, 
some, especially when starting out, handle potential criticism and online negativity, and continuously educate yourself on new tools and platform changes. So if you've got a unique voice, a passion for sharing ideas, and you're not afraid of being in the public eye, this could be your ticket to turning your creativity into a thriving career. Speaking of social media strategies, here's a quick story about Jay. He went from a dead-end job to a 60K per year gig at Microsoft through digital marketing. And like many of us, he had his lost years, but found his path during the pandemic. And Jay's advice? Well, if you want to start off, just create a little website and play around with it. And if you're inspired by Jay's journey, click the link in the description or the pinned comment below because there'll be a full training on exactly how Jay was able to land this digital marketing job. This training is hosted by a world-renowned digital marketing expert named Seth. All right, next one is for all of you fashion enthusiasts out there. We're going to be talking about personal stylists. And personal stylists can earn anywhere from $50 to $200 per hour. And if we're talking about a career that is completely AI proof, well, this is one of them for sure. And this is something you can do part-time, full-time as a side hustle, as a freelancer, or starting your own business. So it's very flexible. And basically you're going to be helping clients pick out clothing and accessories remotely. And it's kind of like being Rachel Zoe, but without having to deal with temperamental celebrities in person. And to stay in this role, you need a keen eye for fashion and current trends. You need the ability to understand and enhance digital body types. You need excellent communication skills to convey your vision. And you need proficiency in creating digital mood boards and style guides. Now, personal stylist spends their day conducting virtual and in-person client sessions, helping with wardrobe cleanses, outfit styling, and color analysis, while also offering personalized recommendations and shopping tips. Now, again, this can be done in person, and of course, it can be done online as well. And an online personal stylist earns around $39,000 to $64,000 a year. And the coolest part, as a virtual stylist, you're not just picking out clothes, you're helping people feel confident and express themselves. But let's keep it real. Being a personal stylist isn't just about playing dress up, you'll also need to stay up to date with fashion trends across various cultures and regions, handle clients who might not always agree with your suggestions, work with a variety of budgets and style preferences, and potentially deal with body image issues and insecurities. So if you've got an eye for style and you love helping people look their best, this could be your chance to make the world a more fashionable place, one Zoom call at a time. Now, by the way, if you wanna know remote job companies that are always hiring because you just wanna get a remote job really quickly and you don't mind what it is, I did make a video that went viral, people absolutely loved it, and it's the 17 work from home job companies that are almost always hiring, and you can check that out by clicking right here.